Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, Caldime has officially been fully spoiled. The early streamer access event is January 27th, and I will be participating in this. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with this event, basically a bunch of streamers get access to a god account with every card that's in Arena uh, to play a day before the general public. Uh, really, it's to demo a bunch of the new cards, try out some sweet standard brews, and then generally just have a good time, test out, like, have fun with, like, non-high stakes and more just fun magic. You get to play a bunch against a bunch of, like, big uh, streamers. So I'll be participating in that like I always do. Um, it is best of one format. So we're going to be trying some brews. I've featured a couple so far, Grixis Giants as well as Golgari Elves. Um, this one is more on a brew side. I don't know if it'll actually work, but if it does, it's super sweet and kind of a bit more janky um, than some of the streamlined lists. Um, the intent with these decks is, you know, throw some ideas down, try it out, and then eventually test them. Um, so we'll jump into this, but as always, if you can, uh, if you're catching this on YouTube, if you can, like, comment, and subscribe. We're closing in on 3,000 subs, so it'd be greatly appreciated if you can. And if you do want to know when we go live on Twitch, specifically for this event, or just any streams in particular, you can always follow there as well. So jumping into it, this is an Essica World Tree Combo deck. Um, so we'll kind of jump into the combo elements and then the supporting cards. So, the World Tree. The World Tree is a new land uh, that came out in Kaldime. It enters the battlefield tapped and taps for green mana. Unless you have six lands, then it's a multicolor land. Uh, it can tap for any color that you want. And then for 10 mana, two of each color, plus the World Tree, so 11 mana total, you can sacrifice the World Tree search your library for any number of gods and put them into your battlefield. So what we're trying to do is leverage the world tree and another card, uh, Maskwood Nexus, which you see on the right hand side. Uh, Maskwood Nexus is an artifact that creatures are basically, you name a creature type and all the creatures in play as well as in your library are that type. So with the world tree, you, uh, you basically have Maskwood Nexus named God and then with the world tree, you can search every um, creature out of your library and put it into play. And then I'll explain how you win. Um, there's also kind of the back of value plan and ramp plan of Eska, God of the Tree. Uh, so Eska is a flip god. Uh, three mana, Vigilance. Uh, it could tap for one mana of any colors to help us ramp. And then other legendary creatures you control have Vigilance and add one mana of any color. This helps us ramp up. It also taps as part of, or can be found with the god if we don't have mask wood. But really what I wanted to try it out with is the flip side. It is a five color uh, legendary enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature or planeswalker. Put it onto the battlefield, the rest of the, uh, 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 at the bottom of your library. Um, so that's kind of like the value engine and then you have your combo engine. So basically what you're trying to do is world tree, nexus, search up your entire library, and then you have Terror of the Peaks to have every creature that comes into play deal damage to your opponent. You could effectively have four Terror of the Peaks in play, so four times each creature ETB, um, so you just kill your opponent in one shot. Um, the rest of the shell of the deck is kind of built around the Genesis Ultimatum shell. Um, this is a proven shell. Um, we're just adding these cards in. So the Genesis shell gets us ahead on mana, it gets us ahead on permanence, and it can put together some of the combo pieces into play as well. Notably with Essica, if you hit it off Genesis Ultimatum, it comes in as the god side, not the enchantment side, because that's the front-facing side. Um, so we have components with the deck. We have Beanstalk Giant to ramp us, as well as to provide a late game as a big beater. Terror of the Peaks can be used as removal and kill spells. Uh, it's like direct damage, kill to your opponent. You have Lotus Cobra, so similar to the earlier Omnath builds, we're using Lotus Cobra to fix our mana, um, to add the multicolors, uh, as well as just get ahead and try to get an earlier Genesis Ultimatum. Or if we hit Genesis Ultimatums in a bunch of lands, it lets us potentially do multiple Ultimatums in the same turn. We have Bone Crusher Giant, um, pretty much the best red creature in the format. Uh, early removal, good beater on the backside, can be hit off Genesis Ultimatum as well. So that's kind of your shell there. And then we have uh, Coma Cosmos uh, Serpent. Uh, so this is another new card from Kaldime. It is a 7 mana, 6-6 six, six Serpent, can't be countered. 
Um, at the beginning of your upkeep, you create a 3-3 Blue Serpent token. And so that, if you have a, a, a Terror out, can deal 3 damage each upkeep. So your upkeep and your opponent's. Um, and then you can uh, choose to sacrifice uh, another Serpent to either uh, tap target permanent and then turn off its activated abilities or give uh, Coma itself indestructible. So basically you can make this indestructible every turn as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, we have Rata Heart of the Keld. Um, so notably Coma, Rata, they're legendary. So with the God, they do tap for mana as well. Um, Rata helps us play lands off the top to help us ramp further ahead. The combo is very mana heavy. We need 11 mana for it to pop off. Um, so the more lands we could get into play, the better. Um, so this is a way to just kind of get ahead in that regard. Um, as I mentioned, we have Genesis Ultimatum as kind of the glue to hold the deck together. This helps us dig for the combo pieces, get ahead on mana, thin out our deck. Uh, Genesis Ultimatum being the seven mana ultimatum in team or colors. Um, you look at the top five cards of your library, put any of the permanents into play, the rest into your hand, and then you exile Genesis Ultimatum. And then finally, we have one Cultivate. Uh, cultivate just being uh, a way to just fix our mana. We're playing a couple, uh, like we're playing one of each color uh, in terms of the basics, so it can help us fix along with uh, the giant as well. Finally, we have two Ugin the Spirit Dragons. Ugin, um, you can cast it for free off the enchantment mode of Eska. You can cast it for free off Genesis Ultimatum. It's a big cre a big like bomb can win games on its own certain decks just can't beat it so we're a big mana deck let's play the big mana planeswalker um in terms of mana itself we are playing two shatter skull smashings the modular dual land um we can use it for removal in this deck to deal um, a bunch of damage or just have it enter as a mountain in terms of pathways we are playing four of the simic pathways the decks uh heavier on blue green than the other colors but we are playing two of the uh, each of the other pathways themselves um, and then in terms of our remaining mana base we have four ketria trinomes um, we're playing some of the off color trinomes in uh, rawgrim and zagoth so basically the saltai and jeskai uh, trinomes this allows us to have white mana for both of them and then we're playing uh, two islands two forests and then, uh, so basically the only lands we can't play Genesis Ultimatum off of are one Swamp, one Plains. Um, but we use that for the World Tree. And then um, you can get multiple World Trees in, in play. And then they help fix your mana as well. Um, so one thing I do want to see is just if the mana is sufficient enough to uh, kind of combo off. Um, but I feel like you should have enough in play um, after a couple Ketrias to kind of go off with the World Tree. Um, so that's pretty much the deck list. Like I said, I don't know how well it'll work out, but if it does, it's going to be sweet. It's something, definitely something I'm excited to try out. Um, at the the ba like worst case, you're a big mana uh, Genesis Ultimatum deck with uh, Terror of the Peaks to kind of close out the game. Uh, best case, you can take every creature out of your deck and smash your opponent for just huge amounts of damage. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to be working on a bunch of these deck techs. Um, I might not get to visual representation of each of them, um, but you can always check it out my Aether Hub. I have a bunch of them being posted right now with the Caldine tag at the beginning. Um, if you do have any suggestions for uh, decks you'd like to see, build around, stuff like that, do let me know in the comments, as well as if you have any deck lists of your own, feel free to drop it in. Um, I will be playing as many decks as I can that day, so if I can get around to it, I will try to feature it that day as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, as always, appreciate the support and stay safe out there. Thanks and hopefully see you on the 27th.